as the documents cited here in this video today show, President Trump is planning to carry out mass arrest of the deep state actors, including people like Andrew McCabe, Peter Strzok, James Comey, even all the way up to Barack Obama. As the evidence shows, all of this is fully covered with all accompanying documentation of the in the US Federal Register. I've left all the links underneath this video and I am a full supporter of saving America and arresting all the traitors within. Fact, the United States has been operating under a state of declared war since September of 2001 following the 9-11 attacks. Fact, the United States has been operating under a declared national emergency signed by President Trump since December 20th, 2017. In this quick, detailed video analysis, I'll try to lay out the evidence for President Trump's plan to issue mass arrests of the deep state traitors and then try them for treason under military tribunals. This is my area of expertise. This is all justified and lawful because the acts being committed against the United States of America by the deep state traitors are acts of treason during a time of declared war. It is no coincidence that President Trump has deliberately funded the U.S. Pentagon with its most massive budget ever conceived when he took office. This is because the Pentagon has agreed to run the military arrest of the deep state traitors under the direction of the commander in chief, no other than President Trump. President Trump, I believe, has decided to go to bat for America and utterly destroy the anti-American deep state crime ring that has been working for years with impunity to destroy this nation and end its national sovereignty. This will be Trump's legacy. In order to accomplish this, President Trump will need to declare a state of temporary martial law. He will need our support during this time to maintain order and civility across the nation as the mass arrest and trials of the deep state traitors get underway. And we should all expect mass violence and chaos from the streets propagated by the left, the deep state, which is following the rules for radicals, a blueprint for communist revolts and violent overthrow attempts of the government. Now this all sounded very funny and fishy and just made up a few years ago. But look at the state of our nation. At the beginning of the COVID, the military and NG, National Guard, spread out throughout the country. We all saw the movements. We saw the trains and the Humvees and up-armored vehicles being brought in. And tanks. Why do you need tanks to fight the COVID? Nope. This was all in preparation for what is about to transpire. These radical, violent looting and burning and pillaging of towns, mostly democratic in big major cities across the states over the last six months are coming to a peak. And in these 15 to 20 different democratic run cities, they have done nothing to stop it. They have actually aided and abetted the enemy Executive Order 13818, signed December 20th of 2017, blocking the property of persons involved in serious human rights abuse or corruption. This document specifically describes the actions of and crimes of Hillary Clinton, Barack Obama, James Comey, Robert Mueller, and many, many others under the corruption section, alluding to the Uranium One scandal and Obama's multi-billion dollar money laundering operation that handed nuclear weapon capabilities over to Iran. It says that the executive order targets any foreign persons 
determined by the Secretary of Treasury in consultation with the Secretary of State and the Attorney General to be current or former government official or a person acting for or on behalf of such an official who is responsible for or complicit in or has directly or indirectly engaged in corruption including the misappropriation of state assets the exportation of private assets or for personal gain corruption related to government contracts or extraction of natural resources or bribery this describes precisely what Clinton Comey Mueller Obama Brennan McCabe and others carried out under the Obama regime these are more than just felony federal crimes these are acts of treason against the United States of America carried out during a time of declared war these laws are already on the books will they be upheld President Trump's declared national emergency. I therefore determine that serious human rights abuse and corruption around the world constitute an unusual and extraordinary threat to the national security, foreign policy, and economy of the United States. And I hereby declare a national emergency to deal with that threat. Executive Order 13618, signed July 6 of 2012 by President Barack Hussein Obama. Assignment of National Security and Emergency Preparedness Communications Functions. Now, this executive order grants the President absolute control over all U.S. media, including tech giants, social media, news networks, and news websites. It specifically names and says, Communications that support the continuity of government, federal, state, local, territorial, and tribal emergency preparedness and response communications. Non-military executive branch communication systems, critical infrastructure, protection networks, and non-military communication networks, particularly with respect to prioritization and restoration. Executive Order 13825, signed March 1st of 2018. 2018 amendments to the Manual for Court Martial, United States. Although much more difficult to read, this document essentially established the preservation of the government's right to prosecute crimes of treason and deep state collusion against America, all of which may be prosecuted via military tribunals under existing U.S. law. This would allow deep state traitors to be arrested by military police and subjected to military tribunals run by the Pentagon, completely bypassing the corrupt court system which has been deliberately stacked with complicit deep state traitors and resistant judges. Infiltration instead of invasion. this, President Trump must announce a state of temporary martial law. And for the record, I wholly support this effort to arrest and prosecute the thousands of deep state traitors and seditionists who have become a cancer upon our sweet America. Were you aware that James Comey was a communist? John Brennan, of course, has remained a communist for his entire adult life. And Barack Obama was a radical Muslim who despised America and worked every day to undermine it through a variety of nefarious means.
including an allowing U.S. military encryption technology to be captured by Iran via the U.S. drone and GPS spoofing incident. There is a massive storm here and you keep hearing it thunder very loudly. How awesome. There is a storm on the horizon. For starters, Barack Obama personally authorized the illegal spygate spying on Trump campaign officials. Uh, Barack Obama also allowed China to hack 21 million of U.S. military personnel records, effectively dumping the entire U.S. Pentagon database in the hands of communist China. Hillary Clinton, Barack Obama, John Brennan, Andrew McCabe, Loretta Lynch, Peter Stroke, and a long list of other traitors have been conspiring for years to destroy America from within and see it replaced with a communist regime ran by authoritarian globalists. Tech giants like Apple, Google, and Facebook are all part of the plan, which is exactly why you've seen every one of them working closely with China to roll out an authorian techno tyranny infrastructure systems that plan to enslave every single citizen of the world making them powerless and obedient to a globalist technocracy that runs the one world government you have not seen one person on the epstein flight log list back or support trump but every single one of them every one of them have backed biden it's logical. Now, what we've witnessed over the three and a half years of Trump's presidency is his determination to halt this global dictatorship and defend America against all traitors who are working diligently and daily to destroy it. President Trump must carry out, and he has several of the actions that I have written down three years ago. He has achieved and released tons of declassified, unredacted deep state documents from deep within the FBI and the DOJ that reveal the full extent of the deep state treason against America. The FBI and the DOJ are currently stalling this effort, furthering their treason against America and proving they have a lot to hide. Pelosi, Schumer, Schiff, and Warner have already committed acts of treason in calling on the FBI and DOJ to defy this presidential order. Number two, invoke the national emergency powers which are constitu uh, constitutionally granted to the executive branch of government. Technically, this already happened in 2017. Three, invoke President Obama's order, Executive Order 13618 and seize control of Google, Facebook, CNN, Washington Post, and the New York Times to halt the treasonous lies, the coordinated election fraud, and political coup which is being run by all these traitors from within our own borders of America. Four, use all controlled communication channels to publicly declare the details of their crimes and criminal actors which have been committed against the United States of America disclose everything to America people about how their country had been overrun and destroyed from within. Five, order the military police to find and arrest thousands of deep state traitors who have been deliberately undermining America from within. This will include hundreds of people from within inside the FBI and DOJ, plus hundreds more within the State Department and other federal government agencies. Arrests must include treasonous and traitorous corrupt federal judges who have deliberately undermined America. For example, blocking Trump's constitutional travel ban to protect America from enemy terrorists. Many traitors will attempt to flee the country. Of course, they will need to be located and brought to justice like former Nazi war criminals. Seven, possibly, and uh, you can suspend the election in certain states take away electoral college votes that I went over yesterday in the 14th Amendment during the military tribunals, but lay out a timeline for restoration of the elections and the nationwide voting with voter ID in place to restore the rule of law and give America back to the American people. Deploy the U.S. military along the southern border. This would be number eight. Use the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers to build that wall. We've been seeing this. 
Now Americans will be rightly concerned about the martial law morphing into a military dictatorship. And that's what the media, CNN, and the lying mainstream will push into the people. Trump needs to assure the American people that his job, and I think he's done great, is to destroy the deep state, restore the rule of law, and then get out of the way and retire as the greatest U.S. president in the history of America. The president who saved America from traitors and the communists. The American people will not tolerate a permanent military dictatorship in America, but they will tolerate a temporary martial law needed to drain the swamp, arrest the traitors, and restore the rule of law. During this time, by the way, the entire FBI likely needs to be disbanded and rebuilt from scratch. The agency's credibility has been utterly destroyed by the actions of James Comey, Peter Strzok, and many, many others. Don't listen to the naysayers. Don't listen to the people that have not been paying attention. Do not listen to the couch-goer politicians that are bored, sports are turned off, they've directed their attention over here, which is great, but they don't know anything. People actually believe those responsible for the attempted coup, the coup attempt, of a duly elected sitting U.S. president will go unpunished. End to our constitutional republic. No equal justice under the law. No accountability. Escape unscathed. Enjoy the show. Everything shown has meaning. You are watching a scripted movie. Again, I am Michael. This is the Patriot Hour. God bless, God speed to each and every one of you. And where we go one, we go all.